Hi, this is Reed from straightfromthegeek.com and today we have a great tip for you. If you ever have to share your iPhone or iPad with a young child or with someone who has some type of physical or learning challenge, guided access is an amazing, amazing feature. I'm going to show you how to enable it how to set it up, and how it can help you hand your iPhone or iPad over to someone and know that they will only be able to do exactly one thing. They can run one app, or maybe they can watch a video, and there's no possibility for them to switch to another app, turn the device on or off. The only thing they can do is use the app in exactly the way you want them to, and when they're done, they have to hand the device back to you. What people aren't really aware of is the huge, huge feature set in iOS 7 as far as accessibility is concerned. People use their iPhones and their iPads all the time, even if they're vision challenged or blind, hearing challenged or deaf, if they have motor difficulties like Parkinson's disease or even if they have learning difficulties where people will become frustrated or confused if they tap the wrong button and they don't know where they are any longer. So let's jump right in to setting up guided access. The first thing we need to do is go into the settings app and enable guided access. Guided access is in general and accessibility. If we scroll down, I can see that in the learning section, guided access is currently off. Let's click that. Let's enable guided access. And we're going to set a passcode that is different than our lock screen passcode. This is so in case your child does know your passcode, which I, I wish they wouldn't, but if in case they do, Here's a second passcode that hopefully that you won't share with them so that they cannot get out of guided access when it's enabled. So I'm going to set a passcode of 1111. I'll enter it again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the accessibility shortcut. And what that is, you can read it right there. It's just a triple click on the home button. When guided access is enabled, a triple click will get you into guided access, allow you to set it up, and then disable it when the other person is done using your device. So let's go back to the home screen. What I'm going to do is launch a game that I want my niece to be able to play. Doodle Jump is a fun game. Now what I want her to do is, I want her to be able to play this game, but I don't want her to go into the store. Of course, there are other ways to enable restrictions for purchases, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to make sure that there's no way she can tap that store button. We're in the game, this is the app that we want the person to use, so I'm going to triple click the home button and it will ask me my passcode. And again, this is my guided access passcode, not the passcode that I use to log into my device. Bring that back up again, 1111. All right, now we get into the guided access UI. At the top of the screen, we see that we're in guided access and we can end in the upper left or we can resume in the upper right. We're gonna set it up a little first. In the lower left, we see that there is an options button. I'm going to click that. And what we can do is we can decide right now if we want my niece to be able to turn the device off or on, or if we want her to be able to change the volume of the game. Say that we're worried about her hearing. We know that the, the volume is set where it should be. So I'm going to leave these both where they are. But remember, now she will not be able to turn the device off, nor will she be able to change the volume. If I was going to hand her a movie, I could turn touch off entirely. So the entire screen 
is pretty much dead. You cannot touch it. In Again, for something like videos, that might work. And the motion to the right is just the accelerometer. So if someone has motor difficulties, they're, they're shaking, it's very hard for them to remain still, we could turn motion off and then even if they move the device around, it won't scroll or it won't do the things that it would normally do while the accelerometer is active. All right, the one thing we wanna do is make sure that she cannot touch that store button, correct? So this is what we do. We go to the screen and we draw around the area where we don't want her to touch. Okay, that looks pretty good. See, it drew a little box around there. I'm gonna make it just a little bigger in case that button is more sensitive than we think it is. There we go. Okay, we've made all the decisions. We're ready to let her play the game. In the upper right hand corner, we hit resume. All right, now she can play that game. We can go into stats and go back to the menu. But no matter how often I touch that store button, there's nothing that will happen. I can play the game and I'm amazing at this game that I'm gonna die on purpose, which was very hard for me to do. I can go back to the menu and I can start playing again. But again, I can hit the home button. I can hit the power button. Nothing happens. This game is locked. The only way to get out of it is to use that triple click again. I'll do that now. To get to end guided access, we need my guided access passcode. We go back into the guided access UI and I hit end. Now my device is back the way I would want it to be, just as if guided access never was activated. I just leave guided access enabled on my device. I don't mistakenly triple click my home button very often. So it's just easy for me to, to have it active and be able to hand the device to anybody I want and be sure that they will be able to do only one thing. So I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of what iOS can do as far as accessibility features. I'm gonna put a link to Christopher Hill's YouTube page. Just an amazing, inspiring kid. He probably knows more about iOS than I do. And he has some significant physical challenges. I really urge you to go and, and check out his page. The, the information is amazing. All right, I hope that helped. I will talk to you soon. All right, I hope that helped. And decide today that you want to geek out just a little bit.